These days, a fast-paced lifestyle seems to be all the rage. We try to pull ourselves in every direction so we can be everywhere and do everything. But before stress and chaos overtakes us, we need to stop and center ourselves to regain that sense of balance and harmony. Hey guys, thank you for joining me again today on Modern Living TV. This might be one of my favorite segments to date. Um, as you can see, I am just so much calmer than usual because I am joined by two really beautiful souls who radiate all kinds of energy, positivity, and peace. Um, we're going to be talking about meditation and basically how to embrace it in your everyday life. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Neil. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. I think. You know, the general public is ready to welcome meditation in their lives. You know, it used to be just sort of for yogis and gurus and very new age, but now, you know, there are lots of people who are just trying to adapt it. What do you think about that? I think it's really um, a cause of living in the modern world. There's so much noise everywhere. The speed of life is happening so fast. There's a lot of distractions. Um, the world has become extremely digital. We're bombarded with information left and right. And people are looking for tools and techniques that can help ground them. And everybody is experiencing this heightened level of stress. And if you're smart enough to catch on that you need to reduce your stress so, so that you're less ill, then you're seeking ways to reduce that. They do say that stress causes acidity, which causes all kinds of unsavory things, right? Cancer and, yes, and sickness. Yes, stress-related yeah. illnesses are very prevalent now. Mm -hmm. So tuning into your mind really helps you address a lot of stress-related illness. Model-turned-photographer Sarah Black thrived in an industry where long working hours are extended to nightly parties and weekly socials. Blessed by youth, her younger self felt invincible until a health scare forced Sarah to make a drastic lifestyle change. I had a cancer scare a few years ago in 2013 and um, that really kind of shook me up and woke me up into finding um, a new way of living. So I revamped the food that I ate, I got into more physical activity. And as I was going on my journey, it was really more about finding ways to integrate my body, my mind, and my soul all at the same time to arrive at this state of wellness. And meditation has been such a big tool for me to come into that state. It's really the daily practice of that. So I got into um, guided meditation first. I did some transcendental meditation. I went to India last year to study meditation. So I've, I'm always just going deeper and deeper. And the result of that is I want to share the practice with other people and help people feel the reduction in stress that I feel. That's amazing. For Sarah, gone are her days of junk food binging. Instead, this wellness advocate developed a healthy eating habit. She trained for marathons and triathlons as well. Even when she had an accident and fractured her hip, she did not stop being active and eventually found yoga. She even trained in Rishikesh in India, the birthplace of yoga. Now, Sarah's passionate about sharing the benefits of meditation to others. I think a lot of people are, are, are ready for this, but they don't know how to start yeah. or what kind of tools, you know, what exactly is meditation? Meditation is really removing or lessening the thoughts in the mind. So the thoughts in the mind can be measured uh, according to neuroscience, mm -hmm. between 60 to 80,000 thoughts in one day. So that's like one thought exhausting. per second. <laughs> so exhausting. Yeah. And this yeah. is really the cause of all our stress. Yeah. So it's not, you know, our failing marriage or our business is not doing well. It's not that. It's really in the mind. Right. Trying to reduce these random thoughts in the mind. Yeah, that's what keeps people up at night, right? Yes. Like, you yes, know, you're, absolutely. Like, you're about to sleep and then, oh, I have to buy this tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it like goes on to like, yes. but oh my God, if I don't do this, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 So basically yeah. being master of your mind. Yes. And that's being it. able to empty it, right? Yes. I mean, yes. Correct. Yes. Together with Neil, they founded Live Awake Meditation. Both of them are certified yoga and meditation teachers. And by holding classes and retreats, they aim to promote daily meditation as a means to reduce stress and increase joy in our lives. It's a 
bit daunting. Daily meditation. <laughs> I, I can barely like find time to use the banyo without people bugging me. Okay, so like, <laughs> how, how, what, how do we integrate like daily meditation? I, I always tell my students to start small. If three minutes first thing in the morning is what you can do, start with three minutes. Yeah. Try not to get overwhelmed swimming in this bigger picture. But what is important, what is really vital is we take time to connect to our breath. Okay. That is the first and foremost thing. Why connect. is that? Physical benefits alone with the breathing uh, helps us calm down, slow down the heart, slow down the lungs. And actually our lungs are designed to breathe long and deep. But if you're not mindful of the breath, you're doing shallow yeah. breathing. So the shallow breathing <laughs> creates disease and creates all these um, chaos in the mind. Yeah, yes. and, yeah. Breathing, yeah and we're so conditioned. When you panic, yes. you have shallow breaths, yeah. Yeah. right? Watch your breath when you're in a state of anxiety, when you're in a state of frustration or anger, you're breathing fast. So the meditation on a daily basis trains you yeah. to come into the state where you can face any situation with calm. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I think we all need that. Like, sometimes just going to the grocery, I need that. <laughs> Breathe. 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 <laughs> Today, they were gracious enough to teach us some basics of meditation. All right, so shall we start? Yeah. Yes. So let's find proper posture. Mm -hmm. Keep the feet flat on the floor, the knees above the ankles. And just rest the hands on the knees or by the thighs, palms facing up. And find that tall spine. We really lift the chest and then engage the lower core muscle. And keep your chin parallel to the floor. Don't drop the chin. And then finally, the eyes, very important, gazing up at the point between your eyebrows. So just gaze up and then gently close the eyes. So just remember if there are thoughts entering the mind. Don't cling to the thoughts, just let them go and bring your attention back to the breath. Breathing in through the nose and then softly exhaling through the mouth. Inhale for eight counts. Now hold the breath, eight counts. Exhale, eight pounds. It's easy to get lost in the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives and to be able to drown out the noise and focus on things that really matter is a skill definitely worth having. We decided what if we uh, kind of went a, a total hipster route and created a co-working space that wasn't called a co-working space that had no internet and you didn't have to pay to go into.